Oh, hello there. It's Let's Talk Tuesday, so let's talk about visibility for invisible disabilities. What? Yes. It's been on my mind recently since I got my new power chair and I can finally get out of the house again. Yay! I got so excited for the freedom, I nearly forgot about how much people can suck. So, I should probably explain why specifically they can suck. Well, frequently, enough to be predictable, when I leave my home, I'll encounter someone who gets in my face about my disability. I used to think it was just because a surprising amount of people don't understand that ambulatory wheelchair users exist meaning wheelchair users who have a limited ability to walk. On multiple occasions, I've been aggressively confronted by strangers who witnessed me stand from my chair with accusations of faking my disability. But, as it so happens, people have invaded my space about it even if I don't stand up in front of them doing as little as laughing with a friend while sitting in my chair or driving my car. I still get aggressive accusations from strangers. It leaves me to question though, what is it that has people thinking they are the damn disability police? One thing I can think of as a potential cause is the lack of visibility and representation. When people see a person stand up from their wheelchair in media, the narrative is almost always the ever so dramatic dun dun dun, they're faking it. Media has no room for spectrums. Deaf people can hear certain things, they're not really deaf. Blind people can see certain things, they're not really blind. People don't know we exist because they've never encountered disabled people that look like us before. They've never encountered disabilities like ours before. Last week I created two posts on the topic. One was a tweet that read, Dear Mobility Aid Marketing Teams, Mobility aids are not just for seniors. Young people need visibility in your marketing too. Anytime you see an ad for a mobility device, it is likely that all users you see are elderly. We hardly ever get to see disabled youth representation in media. The other was a blog post titled, Standing Up for My Wheelchair in Public. Sort of a follow-up to PSA, some wheelchair users can walk. This is not even counting the dream post I made at the beginning of the month where a celebrity rolled down the red carpet in their wheelchair and was able to stand and walk around for a minute. No questions asked. The dream. I'll link all the posts I just mentioned in the description below. The response to standing up from my wheelchair was pretty heartbreaking. Several people responded with, this is why I'd rather stay home than use my chair or cane. When the disabled and cute hashtag came out, a friend of mine said she hesitated to participate because her disability was not apparent visually, um, and she didn't want to feel as though she was inviting harassment. When it comes to risking harassment and safety, I always say, safety first. Measure the risks you take. But I have to say that reading this fear of able-bodied folks in abundance reminded me how we have to push our comfort zones. We have to connect with our own bravery and be ferociously visible with our disabilities because unfortunately the onus is on us. If we always hide, things will never change. If we allow them to keep us invisible, we always will be. I am now making a conscious effort to be visible as someone who is ambulatory. Sometimes I can stand. Most of the time, 
I can't. And if I ever need to use my legs in public, I should be able to do so without fear. Of course, ambulatory mobility aid users are not the only invisible disability. It just happens to be my personal experience. But there's also people who live with invisible conditions such as lung or heart issues, joint or muscle issues, chronic pain, severe environmental allergies. Even people who are deaf or blind, you cannot, you often cannot tell their disability just by looking at them. In a sea of people, disabilities will not always be apparent, but that doesn't make them any less disabled. Media representation is currently pretty unreliable when it comes to disabilities, but we have tremendous power to share our own narratives, bringing our bodies, our experiences into the spotlight, talking about our conditions online, the wide spectrums that we can be on, the possible fluidity of our disabilities, demanding our rightful accommodations when we are in public, looking right into the face of hate and ignorance, and using the aids we need to when we need to. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a Patreon patron, and I will see you eventually. Bye.